The term Antichrist is primarily found in the New Testament, specifically in the letters of John. It is mentioned in the first and second epistles of John, 1 John 2.18, 1 John 2.22, 1 John 4.3, 2 John 1.7. The Antichrist is generally seen as a deceptive figure who opposes Christ and seeks to lead people away from the true faith. There is no single, universally accepted interpretation of the Antichrist. Various Christian traditions and denominations have different views on the identity and nature of the Antichrist. Some see it as a singular end times figure, while others view it as a symbol of any opposition to Christ's teachings. Many interpretations place the Antichrist within an eschatological context, suggesting that this figure will play a significant role in the events leading up to the second coming of Christ and the final judgment. In the book of Revelation, there is a description of a beast from the sea that is often associated with the Antichrist. This beast is said to have great authority and be given power by a dragon. Revelation 13. Some interpretations suggest that the Antichrist will perform signs and wonders to deceive people and gain followers. 2 Thessalonians 2.9-10 The Antichrist is often seen as a counterfeit messiah who seeks to mimic the true Christ but with deceitful intentions. In some interpretations, the Antichrist is believed to play a central role in the period known as the Great Tribulation, a time of intense suffering and persecution preceding the Second Coming. According to Christian eschatology, the Antichrist will ultimately be defeated by Christ at the Second Coming, and a final judgment will occur.